Start there. Okay, so we got on that side the supply line. So the way we're thinking about doing this is having this pipe here mm -hmm. it would be having the water coming in. It would go up and into the post. This pipe here would be inside the post and we would have to drill from the bottom just to get this piece here. And we get to this conclusion here because we want to be able to fit this piece inside the, yeah. the post and then put it, it, it would be cemented already when we put it in, then yeah. we would just go through the opening we opened yeah. here yeah. and then we would cement it to the, to the T out here. Right, and then we would do all the cementing on the outside. We don't want to do any of that stuff inside the post, mm -hmm. right? So well, that would be, like be our. Here somewhere. So how do we make sure it's sealed? And we can't get into it. Right? Yeah. What was your question? Oh, just if we were doing the T inside, it'd be like up here. So we we're trying to cement it inside, and then we start adding them all together. And you had to start twisting the whole structure to get it to twist in, and this gets kind of messy. But this way, you can just put it in. And cement on the outside once. Okay. And so, we'll, uh -huh. so that's for the supply. For the supply, okay. and I think it's working without a problem. Other thing is that I think we would need to cement this ones because they're not that tight, and uh, we would might have some leaks in here, or we would just be so losing we some pressure. Bit. Uh, we tried with a smaller bit, but it doesn't work because it's too small and this plastic is harder than this one So it actually this one can't go in you can you can go like thread it in So that was the smaller bit. We we could afford for fitting those. Yeah uh, We got the end caps there, which makes sense to have them there and for the drain then the question for the drain The idea would be to have some, to drill some holes in the bottom as well, right? Yeah. Then we would be fitting like a small little pipe there, like a small section of it, which would be cemented to these. Mm -hmm. And then I think we can just, with a saw or something, just cut it on the side so we can have the water. We have don't have any water sitting there. So yeah. we would want to create like a little hole for the channel for the water yes, to go into. Yes, that, that's the point. And then we would be using some silicone or something just to, to seal this. Or a we gasket. Have a, we, we, had, we had some, we have gaskets somewhere. I don't know if it all got pulled out and we also have but, some. But the gaskets, how would that work? Then you would need something to, to sit here so it, it kind of gets snug and it doesn't fall down or something or just get loose. So, I don't so know if silico silicone, silicone would work or just cement, but the section for the cement is quite small, so I don't know if that would hold in place. Uh, other than that, I think uh, it's pretty much working. Mm, I think we don't need the, the gasket here in the end because we can just have the, the caps. Does it cap uh, fit tight? Yes, it does, and we can still like glue or it. cement it or glue it or just put Good. some silicone or something. That saves a bit of money. So and 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 time as well. So. So. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. So. Does it hold? It does hold. Or we can just cut the gasket. I don't know. Like it's something I think still. Oh, we do. Oh, here's the okay. And now mounting. That was the other issue? Yes, yeah, so... Well, the design is calling for cutting out some notches oh. on, on each side of the wood. Like on each uh, side of the frame, I mean. Mm -hmm. And uh, the depth of each notch should be... not be equal. Show like me. one... Can you get it from Karen? Because that one I know will work. I don't want you to be all the way down there without it. Oh, yeah, that one will pop. Can I take this? Oh, yeah. Make sure you get the pin number. Okay. Yes, you can.
Is so, this what you're looking for? The notches? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, with the cutting a bunch of notches, we start weakening the wood and we might overcut. Might undercut if we just mount it on top with brackets and then just elevate one side. It yeah. alleviates a lot of cuts. Sure. Yeah, one of the questions is that because we don't have any cross beams or any yeah. cross bracing, yeah, I think like we're cross if beams this now, frame, the frame is going to be sturdy enough because, well, once we lift it, or it will still have some movement, like we will be having people moving it, like not on a ton, like that regularly, but it will eventually get moved. So, question is if it's sturdy enough or is it required for this post to be attached to the frame just to give it uh, like more, no. it's more stable? No, I think it's, I think so with that can, one. Or they can just sit on top and, and use those. I, I mean, I'm, I'm putting all this in a video, I'm going to upload it now and, and we'll get Erica, um, see if she can be We are, okay. we are. So it, it will be, well that, that allows you to do more cross bracing too. The whole thing is just proud. You can put as much, do as much cross bracing as, as well, you need. There's also pipes drained on the sides. Hmm? There'll be pipes drained on the insides. Edges. That could be behind. Right? Or would that be? Well, if you're moving more of these, you'd have to put a hole through. Oh, okay. That's all I'm Sure. So the I Okay. So just to recap the issues, are, there's three big issues. One is, um, do we go through all of these, right? Mm -hmm. So, so you're thinking. I'm just summarize it. Maybe you do it. Summarize it again for me. So, question is, do we go sideways for getting the irrigation in, mm -hmm. uh, or we go on the bottom as we have it in here? If we go this way, it, I think it's much easier to build, as we would be doing all this cementing outside instead of doing anything on the inside. It can still be done on the inside, but you would be struggling a little bit more. Okay. Uh, so that's one, one. thing. Uh, and I think, well, this pipe would just be running along this frame here, so you can just attach it with the, with the other end there. So okay. that's one thing. Yeah. Uh, for the train, uh, the train would be if we are doing as that I was showing, just drilling a hole in the bottom and just making some holes or just cutting it with a saw so the water doesn't sit there and it can just drain uh, down there. The big there. thing we need to figure and, out is how to hold and that in. How are we holding it and how are we going to seal it? So that's the other question there. Yeah. Uh, gaskets might not be necessary here but that would be just confirm one the system is already in place. If it's leaking, then I guess we would just have to use the gaskets because for maintenance, we eventually would have to replace the jets or something. Yeah. Uh, we would need to access it. Well, uh, still, you still can access the jets from, from above from the openings because they're large enough yeah. so you can you fit your, your hand, hand in. in. Yeah. So okay. they might or might not be cemented. It, it's, good if, it's good if it is. I've seen a couple of details. It was a matter of the, the gasket stuff at Home Depot. They only had a couple of sheets of it. It was really expensive. So. I, I, we'll, we'll figure that one out, yep. And, uh, and the notches. Yeah, how are we going to... Yeah, the notches aren't structurally very sound. It shows to screw in from the side, and that's, to get anywhere, you have to notch pretty far, and then yeah. you're kind of ruining your wood. Yeah, so... So if we went on top instead, that gives a lot more room to play with the, the yeah. pipes below. And then we're, and then so we're going through four times, and, and we can still go through the screw. side and just bolt it instead of screw. It. Yeah, and then we need we need a, a gasket or something, a seal, yeah, rubber washer, a yeah. rubber washer. Be a lot easier. Oh, we have a few, but there aren't that many. We have to buy more Home Depot. Yeah, we need yeah. bolts too. And we yes. need bolts. Yeah. Okay. We have a bunch of screws. So we're fine for that side. Good.